In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Tell me, lady, what's going on? It's curtain time. Like that window yeah. over there? Yeah, we're going to be hanging our curtain rods. Uh, we got them at Ikea. They are a steal of a deal at Ikea, super cheap, and they are high quality. Uh, in our truck camper, I had used just these cheap Walmart cafe rods, and they weren't good. Uh, they would bounce off all the time. They bent all that jazz. So I saw on Ikea that we can basically get curtain rods each window for like, it was less than $10 for each window, and usually durable rods are like $20 a piece. Uh, so we saved quite a bit going the Ikea route. I highly recommend it. And now it's time to hang on. this yeah first one's the hardest I think we're good I think um I think that's fine do you think it's fine where it is yeah because I can just throw the rod in okay we'll throw the rod in so the only thing is is now this one's offset a little bit but it's not that much far off so throw the rod in okay. dogs are um they're out they're out ready Are we gonna have curtains? We're gonna have curtains. No more people peeking in. A couple things going on right now. We do not have enough uh, room on our card. Just keep talking and show you all this awesome stuff. So Lindsay's gonna have to get a new card when she comes back out to do all of the curtains. But. We got this installed. That's crooked. Yeah. We'll fix it. I was getting down off the bed and told Lindsay not to put her weight on the dog step and I slipped and, and I broke it. So I've got a little bit more design to do. I'll fix that later, but I got to go to work to the restaurant to serve food. So that's what I'm going to do. And Lindsay's going to be hanging out here, getting stuff done, bringing you along. Right? Yeah, the level says it's straight. <laughs> yeah, the window could be installed crooked. I don't think you're going to notice when the curtains are on there. Will you notice when the curtains are on there? We'll find out in the next part of this episode. Hi, Felicia. Chris didn't tell me I needed a new battery as well. Let's see how long this battery lasts. These are the curtains that are going up.
Today is another cold day and it's another short work day. We're going to put about two hours into getting the RV ready to drive. We're going to go visit some friends tonight and show off our wonderful transformation. Um, we already had dinner planned with them and we've said let's show them our RV because they bought one very similar and uh, may want to do some of the stuff that we're doing. Yeah, so. we're going to try to inspire them. Their, R their RV actually has the same exact floor plan as this one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And they bought them, we bought them almost around the same time. I'm not doing their flooring. So. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I think, honestly, Water I mean, painting. besides the cuts, the flooring went a lot easier than the painting and, yeah. <laughs> and everything else. So, so we're going to show them what we've yeah. got and give them some ideas and maybe we'll help them out. We don't really know. But what we do know is that in order to drive, things can't be loose and shaking yeah. and moving around. We've got to secure these sliding doors. That's primary number one, is making sure these don't roll around while we're driving. In the meantime, I'm going to fix my dog step that I broke. I think I've got a solution to make it a little bit more durable. i got some different wood and different design for the top um, because I barely put any weight on it and so it, that was embarrassing. <laughs> any regard, I'm going to fix that up because then we can hang these two little, um, uh, what do you call them? Little shelves. shelves. Yeah, we bought some shelves from Ikea. I stained them and we're going to hang they them. They look awesome. We'll I'm hang them up the and then we're, we can call a bedroom done, pretty much done. Except for trim. On the yeah, floor. there's a little bit more trim to do. I hate trim. So there's a little more trim to do and then the bedroom's done. But I think when we show this off to our friends, I think we're going to make our bed. We got our sheets from when we camped in here over Christmas. So we'll just throw that together and uh, it's going to look awesome. It's really inspiring <laughs> at this point to see at least one of the rooms come together. What you got going on? So this, these little uh, drawer pulls, or cabinet pulls that I got at Hobby Lobby. Got them for half off, so 250 each. I'm going to turn these into door stops. So sliding door or pocket door stops. Instead of the crappy little vinyl ones that snap on, these look a lot nicer. We are going to install them like so. And what you want to do is you don't want to make them too tight that you can't get them off the cup hooks because we're going to install them with these cup hooks in here like so. And we don't want to make it so tight that there's no give that I can't unlatch it. We want to be able to unlatch it so that when we're not traveling the door can close and then latch it so that when we are driving the door is not going to move around and then we also don't want them so loose that the door is going to be you know bam bam when we make turns and stuff so we got to mount it just right and these cup hooks are super easy to install and then obviously with these, because they were drawer pulls, they came with these on them. I just cut them off. They're, you know, a little bit of force needed, but they weren't too hard to cut. Let's take the pliers like so. Put a little force in there. And they should come right off. So I got those pieces off. Pretty easy to do. Just a little bit of force. If I'm able to do it, you're able to do it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on. That's good. Really? Come on, Chris. Feel like it's locking in. Yeah, yeah. Good. I don't want to make the hole too wide, or else you strip it for the oh, screw. That was super easy. It went right in. Good. Yeah. Get one more twist. I know, but it's gonna bite down. Oh, the... That's fine. Okay. Now it's the other one. Your butt smells off. No, it's your butt. Better for it to be too tight. There you go. All right, 
see how it works. Good ball. It's on. Look at that. Not too shabby. The door only moves a little bit. Which will be good in Baja when we hit some bumps. And then we just unhook. And we use the door. Hi, Lindsay. Bye. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> I did that wrong. Just to hear me when it's open. <laughs> Alright, one down. The challenge with this one is going to be these awesome manufacturers put the thermostat over here and this light switch. And then we installed the smoke detector here, the carbon monoxide detector, because why not? The wall's already wasted space. So, we have a little lock up here, so the door doesn't go, a little stop, so the door doesn't go past there. But that means... The door... It's not flush. Yep. It's sticking out about six inches or so. So that means we got to be a little bit more creative with the second one. So, Lindsay's going to go ahead and parcel it up, and we'll show you how it works out.